Hi everybody. Um, update. Here's the update. My day after. So really my, um, what's it called? First day. <laughs> I couldn't think correctly. I woke up and we're darker. Remember the pamphlet said that we would be darker. If that was normal. Mm -hmm. And if I um, squint, you kind of see some lines. So hopefully that indicates peeling. Let's see. You see wrinkles I ne I usually don't have. I can kind of feel that it is um, only when I go like this uh, rough. I have rough skin. Right here I don't have wrinkles so when I go like this you could see a wrinkly skin. And it's extra shiny. So that's where we're at for day one. I'll be back for day two. And keep you guys updated. Uh, husband went to the gym. I wanted to go. I hate the gym, but I'm getting really good results. So we're lifting that butt. Uh, it's hot. It is 90 degrees. And it's going to be 105. And when I say the weather, this is for Los Angeles. Yeah, Friday, 105. Um, and then Saturday 100 and then we're just going to be hot completely in the highs but it sucks so I'm not going to keep you guys here I just wanted to come and update and I have a napkin between my boobs because it's so hot <laughs> I'll catch you guys later bye hi everybody how are you guys doing today uh, I came here real quick just to give you guys an update on day two of where my skin is after doing um, the TCA peel. Sorry, because I'm using my hand to hold the camera. So, today I got up and there is actually more peeling than this. Let me see if I can um, zoom in without moving so much. Here we go. Okay, so what you're noticing, I hope you, it transfers to the video. Mm, it's really dark. That's supposed to happen. Remember that I read that to you guys on the pamphlet. So that's exactly what's happening. The forehead is not too dark. But the cheeks are very dark. Certain spots more than others. There's a lot of texture. Right now I'm going to smile and you're going to see lines and wrinkles that usually are not vis visual, but right now they are because there's a lot of dryness. I can feel it. You can all oh, see like that. Look at That's nuts. That's the way my skin is looking right now. You see all that shine? It's weird. It's like all of this is gonna um, feels like it's going to peel. I hope it does. Once it peels, then we'll find out how much the darkness is going to go away. And I have peeling all right here. I'm trying to let the camera zoom or focus actually. It's going in and out. Hang on. Oh, there's a mosquito in here. Mm, let me pull out some. No, oh, let's go in some. So I had huge, um, like you can, t all of this patch right there, that was just hanging. Um, dry skin. I didn't peel it off. It, it just came off by itself. You see? There's another one right there. 
but it's literally just coming off by itself. See all the darkness. So when I smile, you see these lines that I usually don't have. Look. And let's see, let's pull out some. Not in. See all my pores. Everything is, um, how can I say, extra. Let's take off my glasses. Look at. Go like this. You see all of this wrinkling. You see all that wrinkling. So all of this feels like I have um, a sandpaper all over my skin. Look at that. Let's see again. It's so weird. You know what it's like? Like when um, you put school glue on your hand and you let it dry. That's what my husband says it's like because he touched it. He's like, it feels like school glue when you let it dry and then it's going to peel off. So I basically have just been um, cleansing my face with the pomegranate uh, cleanser that it came with and some cold water. And what else? That's it. And then I, I've stopped putting on the antibacterial. And now I'm putting on um, one of their little sample moisturizing lotions for the face that they sent over. Um, after I run out of that, I'm going to have to figure out what to put on my face. Maybe some grapeseed oil, but I'm not sure. But that's where we're at so far. I can't wait for all of this to peel. Oh, it feels terrible. Uh, it's a, it, what is today's date? Oh, July 6th, my daughter's birthday. She turned 21. Um, what else? Oh, it's a hundred, or it was a hundred and eleven degrees here in Los Angeles. Extremely hot. Really hot. Like, ugh, nasty hot. And then... Right now, it's like uh, 10 o'clock at night, something like that, and it's like 100, 105 degrees. Like, Los Angeles doesn't get this hot. But anyways, I didn't come to give you guys a weather report. Here's just an update on what my skin is looking like and where the peeling is at. And I'll come back on day three. I'll see you guys later. Oh, I almost got it. Didn't get it. Okay. See you guys later. Hi everybody, here is day, what is it, day three. Um, today the difference is, it's darker for one. And two, um, you can see huge wrinkles in my skin again, but look at that. Even when I'm not smiling, they're there. Mm-hmm. So hopefully we'll get some peeling. Uh, my forehead looks okay. I mean, you see that? It's like, um, like I said before, um, a layer over the skin. But that's what the chin looks like. I can't wait. Look. Okay, so that's day three for you guys. See you later. How are you guys? How are you guys doing? I'm coming back to you with day four on my update on my chemical peel. As you guys can see, I'm doing really well. The chemical peel is doing really well. We haven't peeled yet up here, but we've peeled a lot over here. So what I'm going to do is zoom you guys in. So you guys can take a look at what day four has done for, for me. It's a lot of peeling. I'm leaving it alone. I'm not peeling it by hand. 
I'm washing my face with the pomegranate and then I'm moisturizing it with uh, the pomegranate also so we're just I'm waiting for the chemical peel to start peeling up here you see how it's it's still in the process of peeling it's finally started here it's looking really good look at all this darkness is going away I still think that I'm gonna have to do it another chemical peel one more time like I know these are freckles for sure these like that one right there is a freckle that one that one that one a little bit of these are freckles look at that so tempting to to just peel it all off but I don't want to give myself an infection so we're a little red and irritated but that's okay that's just the skin underneath Isn't that nuts? We're still peeling right there. So this is day four and I want to come back to you guys again. That's really crazy right there. What did I do? Oh, capture. I press the button. So that's where we're at in day four. I'm really, really happy with my results so far. Uh, just remember to watch. What is that? I have no clue what that is right there. Remember to go ahead and watch um, the actual TCA peel. That's pretty gross. Whoa. I'm trying to figure out what this is. Might be a mole. So I can still see some hyperpigmentation underneath. Even with the new skin. It's just lighter. But I that's why I say I think I am gonna have to do it a, another time, one more time. And then we should be lightening up even more. But we're gonna wait and see what happens. Well, too close, too close. Wow, look at that. That is nuts. So, most people I've seen, look at all this, most people that I've seen, they start on their forehead. And a lot of people don't peel here. But thankfully I did. Wrong way. Okay, so that's day four. I'll catch you guys again. I'll keep updating you guys. Bye. Hi everybody, how are you? Today's day five. I'm here with an update. I probably sound a little um, bummed out because it didn't clear up as much as I wanted it to or as much as it looked like it was going to. Some spots did, but not all of it, so... I'll give it another try maybe in a month or two. You can see some progress, but it looked so promising. I'm still peeling, I see that I am. Um, but it looked, and I haven't peeled yet really here. My skin feels soft in certain spots. The other spots that it's not soft in, I know I'm still going to peel, like all of this I'm still going to peel. But the parts that have peeled, let's see. It, it, it left behind, like this is still gonna peel right here, right? And so is here. And some of the parts where it did peel, I can see nice, fresh, pink skin underneath. And then there's the other parts where it's all peeled and it just left a lighter shade of hyperpigmentation. 
And then you have this here where actually nothing really happened. So I'm going to definitely have to, you see, you can see the little pink. That's nice and fresh skin, but it's still left behind uh, a lot of pigmentation. So I kind of expected that, but it looks so promising that I didn't, I kind of started thinking, well, it's going to work, it's going to work, it's going to work. I'm not going to say it didn't work. It worked. It did what it was supposed to do. I mean, I already explained that, but I'm going to have to do it again. And um, the pamphlet, I know I'm zoomed in. The pamphlet, let me show you the other side. The pamphlet does say that some people have to do it more than once, uh, two to three times. Let me read that for you guys. Oh, oh. It says here. I'm still going to keep you guys updated because I'm still peeling here and I'm still peeling in certain areas. Um, if you are using this peel, who was it? Most clients will need to do a series of two to three peels about three weeks apart to realize optimal results. If, however, you see results you desire after one treatment, there is no need to do more. Less is best. Subsequently, use the TCA two to three times per year to keep your skin fresh. So, that doesn't say when I can re reapply this. Okay, I'm going to have to do some reading again, and when I update you guys, I'll let you know when will be the next time I can do this again, or I'll actually ask the company. But I'll come back. Um, today's day five. This is where we're at. Obviously, we still see hyperpigmentation. It's faded a few shades, and I'm still peeling. So, we'll see what happens. I'll come back tomorrow. Bye guys. Hi guys. Today is either day five or day six, but I'm done. I'm done updating you guys. I'm done with the, um, let me turn the fan off. Sorry about that. Got a little fan over there that's quite noisy. I'm done with um, updating you guys on my skin. I'm done peeling completely. And I'll show you my results. I swore to God. <laughs> well, I shouldn't swear to God. Some people get upset. I swore that um, my dark pigmentation, my hyperpigmentation, melasma was completely cured and gone. Because if you see in the previous videos on this video, um, obviously you've already seen it if you got into this part. Um, and if you skip to this part, you need to go back. Uh, you need to go way back you would see that it looked really promising like it was all just going to disappear like as if the chemical was an eraser so I thought I was on the clear that I was going to get my normal um, skin color back well this is my normal though my hyperpigmentation um, melasma is my normal I'm lightening it little by little as you can tell Go back or if you've gotten to this I don't know what I'm saying it's it's late I just went to the gym and my mind is still on the go anyways what was I saying that so I'm happy enough I'm not like 
yes, this was the, I'm not feeling like, yes, this was the answer, this was a miracle. No, but it's baby steps. It's um, baby steps to where eventually, hopefully in the future, you know, I can keep taking the melasma shade down further and further and further. Because all the research that I've done, and if you've done any research on melasma, this all started because of my first, second, and third pregnancy. It just got worse and worse and worse. And then being on birth control, or had been on birth control, I no longer am on birth control. Um, the birth control messed up my hormones and made my melasma hyperpigmentation worse. It also depressed me really, really bad and gave me mood swings. Um, so I only lasted on my uh, birth control for a year. So, anyways, I'm all natural now. Um, what was I getting to? Anyway, so you can see what my skin looks like now. Mm, it's gone down, the melasma, the color's gone down a few shades. It's still visible, it's still there, it's just not as bad as it was. And it's still there. Um, I, there's no having to prove it, you guys can see it. But, let's see. I already looked on my calendar, I contacted the company. This is a thing I use um, when filming sometimes. I contacted the company and they told me I can do it within two to three weeks after my first peel if I'm not happy. So my next peel, and I might record it, I think I might, will be on the 25th of this month I can do my second peel. Will I do it the same way? I think I might. But if I can invest in one of those silicone brushes, I think I might do that. I'm not too um, open to using uh, cotton ball, cotton round, because that absorbs too much of the product and it's waste. I feel like it's wasteful to me. So the way I did it, if you haven't watched that video, watch that video. Uh, that one's called um, Home TCA Peel. It's here on the playlist. The playlist will be called TCA Peel. What was I saying? I'm totally lost. Um, well, anyways, I might record it, might not record it. I don't know what I was saying. So, I think I will, though. I'm more than positive I will. But, um, yeah, th here's my... My end result, I'm done peeling completely, and this is what we're left with. And I'm okay with it because it, I'm getting a step further and a step further and a step further to lightening and lightening and lightening. All my hyperpigmentation. Also, I'd like to say that my skin that's revealed is brighter, softer, and my pores that I had, big huge pores, they're still visual, they're still there. They've actually shrunk down. Um, um, a tremendous amount so hopefully when I do wear foundation it doesn't sink in um, so my complexion the feeling of my skin feels really nice and soft so definitely I like that so I'll catch you guys later and now I will be uploading this video and remember this is an art and crafts and DIY how to channel and this is just part of my life and so is my art and, and so I thought I'd share this with you guys so I'll catch you guys later and I'll see you guys on my next TCA peel or maybe you're interested in some DIYs look around I have playlists I have over oh, I think a thousand videos you can look through um, there are some videos that are very very popular you might want to look at those. And I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for hanging out with me. And thanks for going through this with me. I'll catch you guys later.